Good afternoon. It is March the 15th, 2017. Time to recap our trading for the day and take a look at tomorrow, mostly tomorrow. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors such as a lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. That is a mouthful and not entirely accurate about us. Uh, we don't do anything um, after the fact or designed to optimize results. Uh, it's raw. It's just right in front of you and most of the times it works but sometimes it doesn't. Okay, we came in today on a rumor fact trading situation. Uh, we felt uh, that on the E-mini it would rally into the announcement and would rally after the announcement. And we had our, that information in our hands at 7 a.m. Central this morning. And that's what it turned out to be. Putting all these distributions together, we've got to move out of the middle. That favors a retest of 93 to 04. So this particular um, take on the market off the F1 screen says, Retest of today's highs and or higher prices tomorrow. Looking at the F2 screen. And uh, we'll just do a B split. Then we'll do a K split. Uh, D pattern. Looking for a move out of the middle. Uh, we got it. Uh, the um, market played to our script. Uh, we thought it would trade higher before and after the FOMC announcement. And it did. And uh, we're just playing tendencies, and the tendencies that uh, statistical tendency has been in effect since March of 2009. So, right now, if the market were to close right here at 84.85, we'd be selling failure to take out 85 to 87, then 89 to 91. On the buy side, we'd be buying 79 to 81 to see if we could push it, help it higher. Maybe highs 82. Well, it depends on where we close. So that would be buy one, and buy two would be 75, 77. So we like 75 to 80 as support, and really 2400 is resistance. We do have news tomorrow. Uh, starts plus 1.27 mil permits plus 1.27 million. Jobless claims 240. Philly Fed 30. That's a pretty big number for Philly Fed. Jolts plus 5.05. That number has been coming down. This would be lower than last month. Natural gas inventories, minus 68B. And it's been cold. That one might actually come in a little bit higher than that. Uh, the news focus will be starts. Philly Fed. And technical buying. Trend day today, up. Based on news, we'll get follow through buying tomorrow. Most likely, we will have a pause day. Okay, again, we came in today saying the uh, trade that had the most potential was a long into the FOMC announcement on treasuries. Why? Rumor fact. Uh, the market had been heavily sold into today's news announcements. And the relief, ri relief rally was uh, likely. And right now you can see we've got resistance at 23.28 to 124 even. So today's action supports higher prices tomorrow, or at least a retest of today's highs. And um, double distribution up, um, perhaps rejecting prices above 24. So selling 24 to 28. So 131 
to 03 in anticipation of a pause day tomorrow. On the buy side, um, broke it out at 08. That's a long ways away. Last rotate down was 13. We've got volume in 17, so 13 to 17 by 1. And uh, 5 to 9 by 2. Look for a pause day tomorrow. Don't have a don't have news that normally moves the markets. Wonder what kind of frightening story we'll wake up to tomorrow about. All the uh, terrible stuff that Donald Trump is going to do. I mean, it's our regular news fair these days. Um, 16 to 20, sell one. I mean, excuse me, number one. 23, 27. Writing like an Arab. And then uh, 31 to 03, pause day after a trend day. Uh, first little band of support um, would be 4 to 8. That's a little close, so I'll make it the buck to 04 by 25, 29. And then <coughs> 13 to 17. Fed's raising interest rate. That's not bullish news. Okay, uh, outside day. That usually means trading range uh, in gold. Strong day up. Again, similar situation. Rumor fact. Been heavily sold <coughs> to the numbers. Again, raising interest rates. <coughs> it's not bullish news for gold. Sell 18 to 20, 24, 26, sell 2. On the buy side, we're going to buy 10 to 12, then 5 to 7. If someone put a gun to my head, I'd be short gold. Looking at crude oil. Mm, higher low, higher high. I think we're going to have trouble at 49. Just the fundamentals aren't good. Too many articles coming out about more supply than demand. Economic growth around the world would change that. Oh, F1 says we can find a place to buy it. And we have a B here put in backwards. Uh, that's somebody selling into this. So um, selling 48, 75, 49, sell one. 49 and a quarter, 49, 50, sell two. On the buy side, 48 even, 48 and a quarter, buy one. And 47, 50, 47, 75, buy two. Uh, we're looking at a B. We're looking at a lot of B's behind us. So um, market trades higher. We've got a B pattern. Uh, that is long liquidation that creates that.
And the euro. Why would the euro rally? Why would the dollar be sold today? And why would the euro go up? And again, it's rumor fact. Um, markets have been sold. It's not bullish news for the euro by any stretch of the imagination. So I think we are going to find sellers. We do have a higher low, higher high. F1 says buy it. F2 will say the same thing. So here we are at resistance. So 65 to 75, sell one. 90 to the buck, sell two. On the buy side, 107 and a quarter, buy one. And buy two, 107 even. That does it for this March the 15th, 2017. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Y'all have a great evening. I'm out of here.